last but not least we'll check out a little boxy we already know that the flash in boxy does not uh, get accelerated so I won't even attempt it it uh, does work it's just a very uh, very laggy um, it can be a little slow we'll just go here to applications we'll get uh, an online app here um, Revision 3 has some fantastic flash based video or um, that works very very well um, in boxy hits the CPU at only about 60 percent so um, it's able to play quite well unlike any other streaming media from boxy Coming up on today's episode, Blu-ray software for your home theater PC, streaming video to the PS3 and the Xbox 360, and a little stacking of your questions. And, of course, the Blu-ray releases from November 24, 2009. This is HD Nation. Today's episode is brought to you by GameFly, Squarespace, and GoDaddy.com. Welcome to HD Nation. I'm Robert Heron, and I'm Patrick Dorn. So as you can see, your guide to best uh, HD Nation plays very well inside of Boxy. Blu-ray online satellite cable. Get the task manager to pop up real quick here. We like it. Now. You can see that this hits the CPU once it gets settled down. It's probably in the mid 50s, um, which is pretty respectable, even when through boxy. No stutters, no hiccups, no nothing. We'll watch that same episode of Top Gear. Again, this video is streaming through my home network, 100 megabit wired connection through Windows Home Server, through to Boxy. So as you can see, most of the operations of the Revo 3610 work very respectable uh, as compared to any other type of PC. Um, uh, with regard to HD content, it plays fantastic. Uh, the flash uh, is fantastic. Uh, I can see it's only going to get better as they refine the um, plug-in from Flash and Adobe. So um, I would have no problem uh, providing the recommendation for this product for anyone that wants to use one as a home theater PC. So check one out.